it's real interesting when people condemn the church, when people attack the Bible, attack Christians, claim that they don't believe in God until judgment comes. And when apparent judgment comes, you find many disbelievers that is able to quote the Bible better than many preachers. Although in many cases they quote the scripture wrong and out of context. I know that there's a lot of people out there that, that, that have somewhat of a good heart. And they want to be able to save everybody. They don't want people to suffer. They don't like seeing people suffer. And there's nothing wrong with that. That's a part of their makeup. But one thing you have to realize that not everyone is going to be saved. People make choices for themselves. Now, the last couple of videos I made, I gave reference to a lot of so-called blacks that were looting. I gave reference to people that were non-believers. I never said that there weren't any quote-unquote so-called good people. Although we all know that none is good but God, if you believe in God. So even hardworking people could be under judgment just by the mere fact that they don't believe. I've mentioned in videos in the past that sometimes God does not judge people directly, but indirectly. He set up certain immutable laws in the universe. Laws that would act in favor you in favor of you or against you. And it all depends upon you. Your faith, the things that you do, which will determine whether or not God's judgment will act against you. So there's so many people that quote the Bible, but don't live the Bible. There are so many people that curse God. Now, I'm going to read a portion of scripture for you regarding Noah and the flood. And just listen to a lot of the things that were going on at that particular time before the flood came. Now, keep in mind, Noah, I'm sure there were sermons that were preached to these people before the flood came. And they chose to ignore the messenger of God. It says, Now it came to pass when man began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born to them. Now I'm not sure why it was important for them to say that daughters were born to them, maybe because of the sinful acts that many commit, just like in this day and time. People are sex craved and people are addicted to sex. That the sons of God saw the daughters of men that they were beautiful and they took wives for themselves of all whom they chose. And the Lord said, my spirit shall not strive with man forever, for he is indeed flesh, yet his days shall be 120 years. And then to move on down it's to the fifth verse, it says, 
Then the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth and that every intent of the thoughts of his heart was only evil continually. Now keep in mind, this could also include people that are hardworking. This can include people that go to church. They are churchgoers. These are people that may even cry in church or say that they're saved in church. But yet the thoughts of their hearts was only evil continually. Because there's people that put on a good front and show in church. There's people that quote the Bible. But then when God's judgment come around, their true colors begin to show. And the Lord was sorry that he had made man on the earth. And he was grieved in his heart. So the Lord said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast. Creeping thing and birds of the air. For I am sorry that I have made them. But Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. Now, as you continue to read down, you'll find he would tell Noah how to make that ark. And I'm sure that while Noah was making that ark, there were people that were making mockery of him. And at the same time, cursing God. But when the floods came, people at that time, I'm sure, responded a whole lot different than people respond today. Because of the increase of technology, the advancement of technology, people are able to respond a lot better in these times. Now, a flood just recently took place in Texas. One that they claim that they have never seen the likes of before. There's another hurricane that's brewing on the waters. A couple of storms. One is Hurricane Irma. That's threatening Florida and New York. So disaster may happen again. I look at this as a warning from God. An opportunity for people to repent. It's easy to donate money or your time to help people that are hurricane victims. It's easy to do that. But the wickedness in their hearts will continue even after the storms. The murders will begin or continue even after the storms. The gangbanging, drug dealing, the homosexuality and lesbianism will be continued even after the storm. So maybe this is God's way of clearing the earth of certain wickedness because you have some people that don't make it through the storm. But regardless of who you are, what your faith is, or how good you claim that you might be, if your life is the way God would have you to be, I personally believe that you will make it through the storm. How can you say that he is the master of your life if you can't make it through the storm? So if a hurricane hit New York, if New York is flooded, I'm sure that those that are sincere and are true believers, I believe that the Most High will make a way and they will be saved. What about you? Everybody is not going to be saved. You have family members that will pass away, that will be swept away with the floods. And you cannot save them in spite of what type of technology you use. You cannot save them. 
but you can repent and be saved. Until next time, I'm fearless. Right, Sam?